Hi everyone, Shane Armin Rowe here, and today we're going to talk about Steam backups, how to get the games off of your installed drives and get them somewhere safe where you can bring them back without the internet later. Steam backups can only be done from within the desktop mode Steam application. Let's grab something big like Assassin's Creed Odyssey, for example. Now, just how big is Assassin's Creed Odyssey? Well, we could browse the local files and check out uh, properties on that folder and see just how big it is. And you can see the installed size is about 77 gigabytes, which is no small amount of cheddar. So let's go ahead and initiate a backup, but first we need a drive. So I'm gonna plug in my Western Digital two terabyte USB 3.0 drive, then go to gear, properties, and installed files. Then you'll find a backup game files. Go ahead and hit browse, and we're gonna choose a designated folder on my two terabyte external drive. The file browser is a little wonky in here. Okay, so select the location and make sure that it's the right one. I've actually installed it to the wrong spot before. And we're going to go ahead and get started. 77 gigabytes took about 45 minutes at 1.7 gigabytes per minute. We sped that up for you, lucky you. And the compressed size is about 60 gigabytes. So we saved 17 gigabytes by offloading it and compressing it as a backup. Great. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. I've always been curious what a Steam backup looks like. So I figured maybe you would too. I expected some big like ISO file or something big, but you can see that it's all just a whole bunch of uh, numbers and letters, N nothing really easy to look at. But let's go ahead and uninstall this. Uh, we wanna make sure that uh, it's all gone before we do a restore from our backup. Okay, now you don't hit install this time around. You're gonna to go to Steam Restore Game Backup. It's sort of weird where these things are. Go ahead and hit browse. Now you're not gonna select the root folder where all your backups are. You're gonna select the actual backup folder. That seems obvious, but you'd be surprised. Okay, and then once you've selected it, it's so weird. I don't like that. I don't like that file selector. Okay, so now we've got it, and it says the backup is found for Odyssey. So now you choose your destination. In my case, we'll choose the internal storage. Now backups do not include save games, any sort of modifications or configurations. Hopefully there is some cloud backup or see my video on Ludusavi to do your own backups. You might wanna be sure. Restore time was about 30 minutes, 2.6 gigabytes per minute, and it is ready to go. Now on first run, now this game is not ready to go, so don't go somewhere where you have no internet and expect that you could restore this game and immediately play it. Absolutely not. Upon first launch, it has to go out and pick up those requisites. It picks up the lockers, it picks up uh, DirectX, it picks up Visual C++ runtimes. All of those things have to be picked up, so don't assume that your backup is 100% offline, even if it's a single player game, because there are certain things that are going to have to run and be installed after the fact. As you can see here, Ubisoft Connect has to run, it has to do an update of Ubisoft Connect, and that's pretty much it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. I had never really looked at Steam backups before. If you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment. Everything helps the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.